Hi, my name is Dave Anderson, and I'm here to tell you about Roman and Lippmann basses. Uh, these are some of the best basses that I've had a chance to play in a long time, and I'm really excited about these instruments. I want to let you know a little bit more about them. We'll be doing some playing, describing some of the features of these instruments, and uh, we'll take a look at what makes them so special. Um, I think one of the most important things about Roman and Lippmann is that this is not a, an off-the-shelf instrument. This instrument is what you want it to be. You decide what you want the instrument to be in terms of the sound of the instrument, the wood, the electronics, and Roman and Lippmann will work with you to arrive at exactly what you want so that you have your dream instrument. Uh, whether that instrument is four strings, five or six, regardless of the type of hardware you're interested in, electronics, uh, any of the various details of the instrument, uh, the scale length, of the instrument, the string spacing, whatever it is that really is the perfect instrument for you based on your experience as a player, Roman and Lippmann will provide for you so there's no compromise. You get exactly what you want. Now the instrument I'm playing right now is a six string Roman and Lippmann and uh, it has some some really wonderful features I'd like to go into a little bit of detail on and discuss with you. Um, first of all the uh, the uh, top on this instrument is is incredible. It's a it's a piece of uh, uh, burled spalted maple, and uh, if you take a close look at the grain, you can see it's it's really amazing the detail in the wood on this. And uh, the woods that are used in these instruments uh, work together to create a tone quality that's going to go way beyond what you're going to get from a production instrument that's slapped together from a, a slab of ash or alder, and really in terms of the evolution of, of instrument design, combining exotic woods to create the best tone quality is really where the state of the art lies and that's what these instruments have. Uh, the combination of the different tones are going to provide you with uh, a range of sounds in the instrument from low to high and everything in between that'll provide you with, with something that's a lot better than you can get from a, a stock instrument. Now the electronics on this particular bass happen to be uh, my favorite uh, type of pickups. Uh, the EMG soap bar setup uh, uses a pan pot and uh, active bass and treble. Uh, I've used this setup on several of my own in instruments and uh, to me it delivers the, the best range of, of tone quality and in this case really highlights the range of sounds that the instrument itself is producing and if the instrument doesn't create the tone you want to hear from the wood then you're never going to get it from electronics. And in this case, electronics are really providing the full range of what the bass is delivering tonally from the wood. Now the bridge design that Roman and Lippmann are using with their instruments is, is really a breakthrough in terms of bridge design. I've been playing uh, bass for, for about 20 years and uh, I've owned a lot of great instruments. And one of the things that's been a weak point to me with, with just about every instrument I've owned in one respect or another has been the bridge design. Now Roman Lippmann actually has innovated a new concept in bridge design called the posiphase system. And basically what that means is unlike a standard instrument bridge where the saddles are mounted onto a plate and then that plate is mounted to the instrument, the saddles are all separate pieces that are mounted directly to the instrument on the Roman and Lippmann base. And this achieves uh, a very important objective in terms of the sound quality instrument and that is it eliminates phase cancellation between the strings and on the five and six string instrument with the wide range of frequencies that this instrument produces this is especially important and the difference is dramatic. Uh, when you play this instrument and you listen to uh, the sound of a full chordal voicing such as hear the distinct tones of each note within the voicing and you don't get the mud with the harmonics clashing that you would on a lot of other instruments. Now uh, the, uh, the neck construction on this particular instrument is a, a multi-layer design and uh, there are uh, many different options in this regard in terms of the types of wood that can be used uh, in the neck laminates and the number of, of layers, number of laminates uh, all having subtle but important differences in feel, sound quality, and of course the appearance of the instrument. And that's up to you when you come to Roman and Lippmann and have them design an instrument for you. Uh, 
Uh, the instrument that I'm holding now is an example of uh, one of R&L's five-string instruments, and this one also has some incredible woods that contribute to the amazing sound of this instrument. Uh, there's actually uh, some beautiful layering going on here, so let me show you exactly what uh, woods we have here to create this composite effect. Uh, the back of the instrument is made out of Babinga wood. Uh, we then have a layer of Wenge, and then we have uh, Koa on top of that for the body. And for the neck, we have uh, layers of figured maple and Wenge, uh, and it's creating a beautiful effect with uh, the contrast of the light and dark woods here. Uh, the fingerboard on this is actually also a beautiful piece of wood. This is figured Wenge, a little different from the straight Wenge. Uh, you can see the variations in color along the fingerboard here, and it creates a beautiful effect. And uh, I also want to say that uh, the feel of these Wenge fingerboards, regardless of the, the figuration in the wood, is really incredible. Uh, I was not aware that uh, Wenge was uh, a possibility for fingerboard uh, use. Of course, like most players, I've played ebony or rosewood fingerboards over the years, and the Wenge is really uh, an incredible wood uh, for the fingerboard, um, both in terms of the feel and the sound and uh, the uh, tightness of the grain and the ability to hold the frets properly. Let's take a look at uh, one of the r &L instruments that's actually in the process of being built now. Now this instrument uh, just came out of the spray shop this morning, in fact, uh, and it has four out of the 16 coats uh, that are actually applied uh, to the instrument before it's actually been finished, and there's, of course, buffing uh, that occurs between each of those coats. So this one is, is still a work in progress, but uh, you can already see uh, the incredible grain and the highlighting and the depth of the, uh, the figuration in the wood. Uh, I'm give you a chance to kind of take a look at this as we uh, describe each of the woods here. Uh, and the top on this is uh, an incredible piece of maple, gemstone figured maple. You can see the figuration in here. It's really uh, incredible. And to take a piece of wood uh, like that and, and find the place in the grain that uh, is going to have that, that special depth, that almost 3D quality when you look at it at the right angle, and to position it on the instrument uh, properly is really an art form, and of course that's what these instruments are all about. Um, we can see that there's also regular uh, rock maple going up and down the length here through body uh, and the neck, uh, alternating with uh, stripes of Wenge. And uh, the, uh, this instrument, uh, as you can see, the fingerboard's taped off, of course, to protect it uh, during the finishing process. Uh, if you look closely, you'll notice that it is fretted. And uh, this instrument, and this is true with all of the instruments that are made at r &L, uh, was actually set up and assembled before the finishing process uh, in order to uh, get the fret work uh, set properly and test the acoustic properties of the instrument before the finishing process. So at every step of the way, they're making sure that the sound that they're going for with the instrument and that you want to hear is there and that it's not lost at any step in the process. Now this next instrument that I'd like to show you is uh, one that's in an earlier stage of completion and uh, this is going to give me an opportunity to uh, show you something fascinating about the assembly process.